If you're looking for an alternative to your stock messaging app, something simple, fast, but has enough customizations to make it your own, then this is one of the best apps out there and it is called Textra SMS. It is free, it's in the Play Store, it doesn't have any ads, and you will find a link to this app in the description below, right below that like button. Like I said, it has just enough customizations to make it your own. So let's get into it. After you first download it and you open the app, it will ask you to make it your default messaging app. So say yes. And it'll take a few minutes to get set up, um, especially if you're transferring over a bunch of uh, text messages. It will take a few minutes. But once it's done, it'll let you know that it's optimized and ready to run. And after it's done, you'll be greeted with the background and you can change this background to, I changed mine to black. I think by default it's dark with blue and you can change all that. So let's get into the settings. There's not a whole lot of customizations, but there are some. Um, you can customize the look. You can change the text size. If you want the emoji to be uh, Android or iOS, like I said, black, dark. I have mine on black for right now. Theme color, you can change it to whatever you want. If you want blue, you can do that. And as you notice, when you change the theme color, it changes your uh, bubble colors. But again, if you want to change that, you can do that as well. So now they're black, they're blue and white. Or if you change your mind, you can, it'll ask you match bubble colors to theme. Hit yes, really match yes, and it goes back to what it was. Pretty simple. Here's your notifications. This first option here, tap notification to open. Whenever you do get a message, when you tap it, you can determine what you want to happen. You want a quick reply with the keyboard. It's like a little box, which I'll show you here in a second. No keyboard, or do you want to open the app itself? I have it with uh, just a reply with keyboard. And I will again, I will show you in a second. You can change the icon if you want to be a different color. Sorry, into that. LED, which I love that fact. You can change to whatever color you want to differentiate. So when your phone's off and you see it blink in a certain color, you know, hey, missed call or that's a text message. And see here, you can change the vibrate pattern if you want just a single medium like that, which is kind of loud on this wood. Sorry about that. And those are pretty simple to understand. If you want to have signatures, which I've never done that, I don't know why you want that, but it's there if you want it. And then next we have, if you want to play a scent sound, like I think some phones, like iPhones have scent sounds. Whenever you send a message, I would, that would irritate me, but maybe you want that. Quick Compose is not selected by default. I selected it so that way it's up here in the, uh, my, we call it the drawer. So if, I, if I'm in an app and I just want to quickly text somebody, I hit that and it comes up and I can just text any of these people real quick. I like that. Again, that's an option if you don't want it, to uncheck it, or else it is unchecked anyway. Uh, I like the, uh, this is unchecked, and I checked mine for mobile contacts only because I don't want to send a message, but I don't want to ask me, do you want to send it to this phone number when it's their landline? So I like that. I like that option. Use MMS for group chats. If you want to do group texting instead of an individual text, then check that button, especially if you're coming over from iOS or if a lot of your friends have iOS. So please check that button for that. And then we get back out of here. Whoops. Now, if you want to do individual customizations, you, just, you hold down, wrong one, we'll do this one. You hold down on the individual thread and then go back to this and you'll see notifications. And this is where you can do individual. So this, I can change for me, my other phone, if I want it to be red. So every time I text, it'll be red. If I want the LED to blink, a cyan blue. If I want the sound to be different than what the default is, you can do that. The vibrate pattern, which is nice, because if you want, this is going to be kind of loud. Let's do this. So even if the phone is off or if it's on vibrate, I can know who that is. That's kind of nice to do that, to be able to have that. And then if you want privacy, if you don't want to show, just uncheck those. By default, they are already checked. And as you can see at the bottom, reset the defaults if you don't like what you've done. And again, here it allows you to, which I don't know why it does that, but it allows you to um, select how you want to reply to the notification individually. 
So that's kind of interesting. I, I don't know why that's like that, but it's nice to know. And here, if you don't want to talk to that person or get a text from that person anymore or see it, just uncheck that. That way you will never see a text from that particular person. That's pretty cool. And another thing is um, um, when you have group text, which I don't have one here, but you'll be able to see the different names in the group text. Um, you can't remove yourself from the group text, but whenever you hold down on it, you see the option right there. You hit that button, and now that thread is silenced. So you won't get any notifications in your up here, no vibrations, no nothing. And I think that's really cool. And the one thing that sets texture apart that I've seen in my experience, which I could be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments below. One thing that sets them apart is that when that, when you're in the app and you're texting somebody and they respond, it will not make a sound. It will just vibrate, which I think that's really cool. Because it knows that you're talking to that person, so why hear that sound again? You know, while you're talking to that same person, and I think that is really cool. And I, you know, at first I thought something was wrong, and then after reading the facts, and I realized they did that on purpose. And that's pretty cool. That is a really good idea. And also, let me see. There should be. Let me find it. There should be a way to. Hang on, guys. Okay, yeah, here in the settings back to default to notifications you will see right here where it says repeat notification i used to have mine on twice and i think it's every two minutes so if you happen to miss it it will actually bring up that notification again so you'll be able to see that you you know or you'll know that you missed it if you don't see the led blinking or whatever if you're walking away from your desk or something like that you know you'll be able to hear it uh why 50 times i don't know but at least hey it's there if you got kids or something like that i guess <laughs> i don't know you know, but that, that is a really nice feature. And I think every phone should have that. I'm not sure if, every, if at all. I know other messaging apps did that. And I'm glad that this has it. My overall experience with this app has been excellent. I have zero complaints. I love the fact. Now let, me, let me go ahead and show you a notification here. Hang on. Okay, I just sent myself a notification from my other phone. And if you have a text tone while that, while that is up there, if you swipe to the left, it kills the sound. And if you don't want to talk at all, swipe to the right, it's gone. The notification in the drawer is gone. It's gone completely. And that's, that is pretty nice. So if you're in an app while you're, you know, if you're in another app doing something and that pumps up and you have a sound to it again, just swipe to the left to kill the sound, swipe to the right to get, get out of it. I'm going to do it again. All right, just send myself another message here. And then I'm going to show you the quick reply on no keyboard or keyboard. So mine is, if I have mine set with keyboards, when I touch that, the keyboard comes up and I can respond like that. Boom, done, I'm out. And that is really slick. I like that a whole lot. Like I said, this I don't find anything that I do not like about this. One thing I forgot to show you is when you're texting somebody, when you go into, you get your keyboard pops up and here you have the microphone. So if you want to record, which uh, I, be I believe Go Go SMS had this several years ago, and I had a good friend of mine, and she would accidentally hit that button. Back then, you touched it, and it would come on. Here, you have to hold it down, which I think is smarter because she would hit it by accident and record stuff and then send it to me, but not knowing what she did. And then you send it and so forth. And backspace, if you don't want to do it, that's cool. So you get the plus button here, and you have all these options here if you want to send a picture whatever picture you've just uh, taken a picture if you have screenshot it if you've edited a picture whatever you just did recently will show up whenever you touch uh, the picture button so whatever is the newest image will show up and I think that's really cool especially if you just get something so you can type touch that or if you want to take a picture of something can come up can it come up there it is if you want to take a quick picture and then send it that's really nice and you can schedule a message, which is really cool, especially if uh, you have a boss that comes in real early. And sometimes uh, you do, you're not up. I'll text my boss or I'll set a message or schedule a message saying, be sure and call so-and-so. Be sure and look at this because whatever. You know, that's just a nice feature to have. Um, no, sorry, sorry about that. And then here we have animated text. You know, emotions. Well, that's not working. I don't know why. I never use it. I use I only use the animated text, and that's just these are pretty cool. 
you can send these to somebody, which, sorry about that, bad word. Um, yeah, anyway, as you can see, it gets kind of, it could get kind of raunchy, so sorry about that. But anyway, animated text is pretty cool. There's some nice ones in there, and it does work with iOS. I tested it with my phone. My, my son has got an iOS phone, and, uh, yeah, and I uh, sent him one of those. So it does work across platforms. Let's see what else was in there. Of course, emojis are right here. So forth. Yada, yada, yada. And I think that is it for that. And for this video, guys, that is going to be it. And like I said, it is simple. It's fast. I'm, I'm used to it. So now I'm not, you know, I've gotten used to how fast it is. Well, as you saw at the beginning of this video, there has been an update. And so I wanted to go over some of these new features because there are some really nice features that they've added to this app. And as you can see here, the versions, um, like yeah, December 5th or 3rd, 5th that they updated, then the 15th, the 17th. So, you know, in January, I was thinking about making this update or making this video for you guys. So I waited thinking there's gonna be an update. So I waited to the last minute, made the video, next thing you know, boom, update happens. Now, like I said, they added some nice features here. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but I will go over some of the the, the key features that are just really, really nice. Uh, let's get to it here. First thing you see is, um, this is all pretty much the same. <laughs> right here, the default for sin, no delay. One second delay, two seconds, three seconds. What that means is if you pick that, and let's go back here, and I send myself something. Testing. I've got a three second delay if I want to stop it. You know, <laughs> which could come in handy for some of you boyfriend, girlfriends that are fighting with your with your loved ones and you might say something really mean and hit the send button and then realize maybe I shouldn't do that. So there you go. They did that just for you guys. Just joking. But it is a nice feature and I'm glad that they've added it to it. So let's see what else we got here. Another feature, I'm not sure if it's new or not. If it's this update, if it's been there the whole time, if I may, I may have missed it. But when you're in a thread, like I am right now, if you want to go back, obviously we have the back button. Or you can just slide like that to get back to the all, the main thread. So if you slide this way, you get the timestamps. And if you slide that way, you go back to the thread. So not sure if that's new or not, but it's there and very nice. The next thing I want to go over is the customized look. They've added some features. They've added the textile. So now you can use the system font. You know, so if you change your system font, like most Samsung phones allow you to change the font. And if you want to use textures font or you want to use a system font, that's kind of nice because um, I, had, I had changed the font on my Note 4, but texture was its own font, which is okay. But I like the font. That's why I changed it. So it's kind of nice now that I have the option to use to use my system font. So they added that. Um, that's it. Some more smooth features they've added, I believe. Like whenever you are in, if you want to get the keyboard, obviously you can touch that. But if, if you want to get the keyboard, just pull up. Keyboard comes up. So little things like that they've added to it. So guys, check it out. And thanks again for watching this video, guys. Have a blessed day.